Right then, good evening to one and all. I hope everyone is staying safe in these rather troublesome times. Yes, I've been certainly been busy over the past few weeks working in my shop. Boy, has that been fun! But hopefully, to anyone that's watching this, or anything I make actually, hopefully, you all be using this and many other YouTubers and videos and other pastimes as a dis good, useful distraction because boy do we need them. So then, let's try and, uh, ooh, <clears throat> someone's setting you up ablaze. Uh, yes, War of Austria. I can't remember what we're doing, I, I believe. That looks of things uh, that we are at an end turn. Let's have a double check and refresh of what we need. Good. They're doing a decent job. See you at the end of the uh, end turn. Trade route raided. Hmm. My one Austrian ship. Well, good job, but the Barbary states will probably get rid of them anyway. So, that's one good thing. That is an enemy agent. God knows what he's trying to do. Hopefully, not assassinating him because. We surely could need that general. I'll take that chance. Detected by his own people, tortured and executed by his own people. Good job. Excellent job. Oh, Westphalia is gone. Consumed by the United Provinces. Right then, uh, do, 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 do. what to do? Yeah, they're healing up. I just want to heal up right hand. Most experienced general. What do I need in this armor to make it? I'm seeing like a cavalry, so. That's not that. No, okay, that's fine. I will recruit a Death's Head and a unit of. Throw, throw some Dragoons in there. Have some mobile infantry. Flash <laughs> me. Alright. And this is the tricky thing about. Empire Total War when you're attacking Austria. So the capital's there, but then within reinforcement range you have Pressburg. And Pressburg is, uh, well, you can't attack one without, you just can't attack the other. Especially when you've got these minor armies nearby. I know that they're probably easy to take out, probably, but they'll drag in. It's forces you don't need, so let's try and play this smart. So I shall. Uh, what I'll do? Make sure this is a full stack. Get by that fort. Yeah, still being healed up. It's quite a lot of buildings I need. Oh, hey, there's quite a lot of buildings that need some uh, buildings. I gotta say, I didn't send on to new build either. No. 
yeah, sometimes by this point I've sent a task force to the Americas. But war with Austria is the more pressing concern. The more concern is this Poland Lithuanian army. We'll ban it in a second. What we'll do is go around our major. So I didn't see what he's building. If I build that, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? I um, ooh, one of the years. and expatriate infantry. Yes, actually, let's build that. The quicker I get that, the better infantry and technology I get. Speaking of technology, yeah. Um, Right, the next thing to worry about would be money. So, opera houses are pretty good at fetching that revenue in. So, let's put a couple there. Right, that army is more or less fine. That should be fine in the event of possibly not, it's got no walls. I'll worry about that next turn. We will worry about that next turn. Oh, actually, moving to Catholic territory now, so moving the priest down here wouldn't be a bad thing to do, just to make sure they stay Protestant. I am still trying to work on that documentary series on Germany. The first episode should be to do with the well, I'll continue after this. Uh, do, 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 do. Demand ten turns. Ooh, I'll give them technology, just not the military access. Thank you very much. Yeah, the first episode should be to do with um, Otto von Bismarck and the war of the, the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-1871. I think the war really lasted some like eight, nine weeks, if I right remember. I am um, finding it difficult to, well, find it awkward to actually make the damn video. Because uh, it's something not as straightforward as making a video like this. However, Jeff didn't give me a good go, give me a good go, definitely. Yeah, let's go do another spy down there, try and get rid of him. Um, well, I hope some of you will be able to watch it when it eventually does come out, if I ever bloody finish it. My old one of the projects where I start and never finish, which hopefully I do no, because making documentaries on YouTube has been one thing. been one thing I've wanted to do for a fair long time. Right, let's build those. They have the full strength. So, got plenty of infantry. Third bit cannon. And some lancers. One more unit of infantry. Which will turn up eventually. And hopefully, I'll be able to get a siege coin on one of them. Only a temporary siege, at least. Uh, Thanks. We'll do it now just to get Pressburg. That's more like it. Now I get the reinforcements. However, the trick is which one do I want to? That's a full stack. But then again, that is some of the garrison infantry in there as well. There you go, three armies more or less. So if I also attack one, three armies reinforce. Uh, 
Austria, I think, has... Well, Austria. <laughs> I am attacking Austria. Uh, Vienna is the probably the one that takes in the most revenue for... Since it's their capital for Austria, so... But they have got really advanced wars. I think what I'll do is I'll wait for them to attack me and then they come out of their fortifications. Create the old fashioned siege way. Right. It's definitely going to treat this army. No, <laughs> they would have had enough funds for that, but. Forwards schnell. Oh, here we are. Yeah. We'll take that. Every little helps. Yeah, some improved grenades. Ooh. That's because the uh, spy who was attacking disappeared. Oh no. Random. Radio army. So, since it's just some cannons. Oh no, 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 they're off and dead. Why do I, I'm so used to be at war with Poland Lithuania as the Prussians. Never mind them, sorry, my, go my uh, allies. Yeah, and steady. That's when we possums coming in. You have to get that army back to full strength. Uh, you did a good job. 2% yeah. in two turns. Mm, it's not exactly great, but it will do. Uh, yeah, once I've done with the uh, Prussian. Oh, well, I say Prussian. The German documentary series I might start another. Or whilst I'm doing that, I might start another series as well. If uh, if I find out I'm any good at making documentaries anyway. On uh, other things I'm interested in. Prehistory, for example, I can talk loads about prehistory. I am so in, far too interested in prehistory. Ooh, they've lost a unit. But they've kept one. But you now we'll keep the siege going. Make sure, make sure we have as much advantage as we've got with trickling reinforcements coming in. So, well, to anyone that's actually watching and anyone that can actually comment or whatever. For a first episode of a prehistory or a well, prehistoric as in not just dinosaurs, anything from, from the Ice Age all the way to the Cambrian period, probably even pre-Cambrian period. Because there's some interesting creatures alive just before the Cambrian explosion event. Not a literal explosion, just an explosion. Diver this basically describes how the diverse life became. Um, I'm not sure if actually it's called that anymore, but yeah. If you want to know anything or want to know anything about prehistory, paleontology, anything like that, I can certainly make a video for you. How many have I got like? Was it six so subscribers? Or was that nine subscribers? I, I do apologise, I don't think I find it hard to remember things these days how busy things are at work. But yeah, to anyone that's watching or able to comment, by all means, let me know. See if what I can do. Also, any any tips, helpful criticism. Try and do my uh, do my best. Also, anything in history for that matter. You know, right now I'm learning as much. As I'm trying to learn a bit about a bit more about German because I look. Uh, the history behind Germany, especially Prussia and its
competition with Austria to be dominant during German state throughout well, quote quote modern history but I'm also doing um, anglo saxony stuff as well so trying to learn a bit about the early medieval period with the Anglos Angles, Saxons, Jutes, Frisians and various other Germanic tribes of the of sort of this sort of region so when the Romans left Britain in 410 and those tribes allied in uh, confederation or so forth landed in Britain and formed you know Wessex Essex, East Anglia, Mercia, Northumbria, Kent, and Cornwall stayed as no, Bretonic native. And various other small kingdoms that got swallowed up almost immediately in terms of history. So if I know anything about that, you know, the, any famous battles like ooh, Ashdown, roughly about here or so. Well, I means I can do one about that. I could do more modern history ones like Battle of the Somme, you know, Yeep, Mons is probably a good one. I can even do Waterloo, the road to Waterloo, you know, just to give you something to work with. If you're interested in history, I can try and do something for you, and I'll carry on doing stuff like this. and I played top so much crap I've even forgotten making a bloody campaign video. Anyway, alas, let's uh, get going. Let's make sure we give. Let's make sure we can get this over and done with. A lot of my workmates probably don't even probably get annoyed with me just going on and on and on about all sorts of subjects. I don't really. They don't really, you know, like, no, not interested in. Mind you, I don't really have much else to worry about. Well, but with how times are these days, it's quite useful for someone to listen to someone else babble on about something other than what's on the news and or put their mind at ease. I'm all too willing to do that service alongside stacking shelves for people. Two turns left on either. They'll either attack me at this next end turn or their last turn, which most likely has decayed. So, and by looks rip, they've lost a fair number. Yeah, they've lost a fair, fair number, but by looks rip, they have got some fairly elite troops, and these Pandors are. Oh, they can be annoying. But, especially when they've got mortars. So. Oh, hello. It's a attachment of just infantry. So, what I can do is send a small detachment for them to get some experience. Save it just in case. And I'll make sure this army does not get involved because they need they are needed for the um, sieges. Ooh, Karl von Clausewitz. Um, he's definitely on the list as well. There's no other another great German, and to probably should light on his role during certain conflicts. I know he was around during the Polyarch era and he highly praised the the uh Gebab and Blucher Blucher or Blucher whichever one, whichever you want to say was one of the more famous Napoleonic Prussian generals. Marshal Forwards they nicknamed him apparently. And uh during one battle, even though yeah he's rap old age of in his uh, of like seventy one or something like that. He had a few horses shot from beneath him. Not many seventy year olds can claim they've been shot off a horse and got onto another one. Could do with the general being nearby actually because then he can get some valuable combat experience when that unit runs. Okay, 
Joe involved. Continue. Gets me to British General, so. Yes, let's let this be over in a shortly. Oh, and stop them. That was close. You'll see no men lost. Right, take them driven off. Right, yeah. Got to check that public servant. Uh, ooh. Do the job nicely there for now. And hopefully, we get some better people spawning, but we shall see. Well, then, let's see what happens in this next turn. Then, I know it's an old game, but and and compared well, combined with this mod, does it not look absolutely? Great with the smoke effect, the haze. Don't need that. The trails and stuff. Pretty cool. It kind of does feel like you're in charge of an army. Trying to be tactical and all that. Only if it, if it was in tune. Ripping through the ranks. Wavering. Right, 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 right. Pause. Everyone, stop. Stop, actually. I was on limber. Well, limber. Then back up. That's not a good idea to charge straight through your own infantry because that causes damage. Tell them to go away. Continue the battle. Oh yeah, I forgot about this in this <laughs> game of, in Darth Mod on this game. If you tell you it to uh, leave the field, it does this. Ooh. I probably noticed that. Actually, put them nearby. Now, all these casualties I will take from here will count, unfortunately. So really what I should have done was just turn to hold. Oh yeah, tell the infantry to give fire. General and hopefully he doesn't die. He's quite a decent general so far. And completely pointless volleys. Stop. Sporting infantry. Oh no. Stupid idea. One thing I do like about this one as well is pikemen actually use their bloody pikes against infantry like they're supposed to. Not quite a phalanx, but it will do. 
need a bit more to go down to make sure they're not going back. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, Julian Haas. Is that the great ancestor of Gene Haas of the Formula One team and manufacturing company? That'll be enough. And that death of the general is completely unnecessary. Of course, I wanted to make experience. And I'm getting killed instead. I never really understood about the, that about this game. Even in vanilla version, if you're sieging and someone attacks you while you're sieging, it turns into a Namrov. Yes, we will just go along with it, I suppose. Right then. The gun and the artillery, but the mortars should not be take part because they can't really move. So let's get on with it. Look at this. Man, no, it's terribly rendering in. <laughs> I know everyone else's computer is able to run this. Every YouTuber's computer. Can run this nicely except my Frankenstein beast well it's not <laughs> it's not great it's not it's, it's extremely limited but you gotta make do what you gotta make do it's my first proper game gaming PC so um, and I've done various things to it so it's a good job not great, but in some games, which I wish I, it did better, but mm, can't always have everything as, as it's uh, clear. And that's why I put the cannons a tiny bit forward of the inventory, so then when they're traversing, they're going to take out the corners of the formations. And now I've been there, but I'm not going to attack the uh, wall. Hmm. Austria is a uh, a fairly, actually it's a fairly uh, intimidating army to face because they have so much infantry in one regiment. Stress units out there. Try and minimise casualties. But at least they're attacking the reserves. Rather than the reserves rather than the actual front line. So a general unit out there as well, just in case a stray cannonball takes him out. There we go. Have they just run him back inside? Don't they want me to attack this bloody fort? Oh, here we are. The mortars have come to attack. And that, that's the war band. And that's the other mortars. Right, great. Uh, where's my death said? This is their sort of job. So, take them forward and they can smooch up. Unless the infantry gets to them first, which most likely is the case. Isn't this a cool thing? Having an inventory behind the wall. I'm glad they actually made that detail. Oh, my god. Ooh. I mean, there's worse people to attack. I have no idea what's happening here, to be honest. Stay, stay, there we go. quick. Forgot about put them there. Uh, my guess then. Here comes a death head. A unit tarnished. 
by the reputation of a political party. No oh, way, well, you can't help what happens in history. Ooh, that should be good work actually. It's in the wall. I didn't know this until not too long ago. They... <laughs> That's how you get in. Speed things up a bit. It's not be a long drawn out battle, so I do apologise for how long it'll take. There'll be many cuts put into this battle. Pretty sure in the battle description instead of one, not two people. Are you fancies nearby? All lands. Perfect. Try and get them over there. a bit further back actually just in case the infantry decide to target them. Keep these guys handy to charge to protect the cannon if need. Excellent volley. That's why you put a little bit of a uh, V units fire more or less and a, you know and a can of a crossfire put that one canister Forward, schnell, Achtung, für den König. Pull back. Excellent. Ooh. Small fleet of cavalry is charging. Pull them out. Especially against grenadiers, don't want to be finding grenadiers. Cavalry. Disengage. Save the cannons. I'm allowed to get out of there. That's alright. Keep these guys here by with that. They're not being needed. Oh yeah, that's not what I wanted. Stop. Is that turns out this in the tree is probably more useful.
to that side actually. That's kind of cheating me pausing all the time, but it is a useful tool. Erase these guys into a flanking maneuver and then let's regress and see how it goes. Reinforce the already battered front line. There we go. Right, so now swing the door. Pull that cavalry out of the gun out of the fire. A messy engagement, isn't it? Such a cool game. That's why I keep coming back to it. I know people don't like this game. I can see why. But in terms of capturing certain aspects of make it feel like you're in charge of an army and stuff like that I do think this game is quite good at capturing it you know I'm actually quite a terrible commander as it turns out oh no 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 don't flank don't flank don't flank just a bit too late just a bit too late just a bit too late oh yeah and the squares don't work this the squares mechanic is uh, shocking to say the least My reinforcements coming in. Well, we formed a human pen. Oh dear, that was, that's a uh, recipe for friendly fire. Pull them back and retake your cannons, boys. Going. Oh, I can get them up the square. And pull back the cavalry. And then reassess. Actually, it's probably safer if I pull these guys back a little bit through the iron just in case I get flanked by those guys up down there. Look at the carnage of holding the cannons. Wait a second, I've got a friendly general coming in. No boy, you can get over here. What's left? Is it just cannons actually? Cannons, cannons. It's just cannons. In that case, then. Charge to your heart's content, boys. Get my general evolve actually. Give them some useful combat experience. As long as he can get hit by his own cannons, which would be a stupid thing to happen if it does. Yes, only the best cavalry charges happen here. Hmm, that's not a good. Must that probably from that scrap? And to do it yet again. So then, 
Let's do it one more time, shall we? Here is a quote to all those out there. That is useful, especially when you're studying, working, even today with people looking for those hardworking scientists and uh, hospital staff and that's trying to look for the back, like a vaccine and a way to actually help people with what's happening with the COVID-19. That should be all the inspiration you need. There's always hope. And you've got the best brain, best and brightest thinking on the situation. So no matter time until the problem is solved. Hmm, this ridge line is absolutely perfect. So hopefully I can rush to that, take that till my cannons arrive. Right then, shall we arrange accordingly then? Let's get this show on the road. Actually, I am just doing slow motion actually. Um, sweet enough. Right, so I've arranged my men for this coming battle. Oh dear. Uh, I shall leave off on that fault. Because those are steaming towards me. Lancers on lancers. I need to please stop and think about what the hell I'm doing. Stop. That should form square. That's actually a decent charge, actually, considering. Yeah, right. Oh dear, 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 dear. And that worked. And one mass cavalry charge to get rid of the Pandora's overkill, but the quicker they're gone, the better it will be. That's a little tool. Right, what's the situation over here? Right, right, it's not the wood hands involved. Right then, reform. Cavalry on there. Jump back over here. And bring them back. Over here. Right, so roll. All things still fall into place. After all that, I'll tell you, made its uh, appearance. And they should have a lovely view of where they need to be shooting so very good we have more grenadiers so what I'll do when they get into firing range I shall swing this unit like a door or oh, not because looks like they're coming out to say hello and get torn to shreds ah such a cool mod. There you go, the main power of the valley is gone. And they charge straight through. Disrupting the formation for the next units doing even more damage. Faster. Now that is a lot of damage. Right, bring them 
out of there. They run straight onto the bayonets. Let them get more engrossed into there and then I'll worry about Run, please. Reform those guys. And this shot here calculates how a real battle would have looked like, in a way. Littered lines of men, complete moron. Uh, smoke, you can barely see through, and all that jazz. Now that's not fair. Ah, yes. Exactly what I wanted. Tired, but downhill advantage. There we go. Mm, that's good news. The rally square did not do its job. What the hell happened to you? Just need to break in there. Trick shot, boy. Right. Swing like a door. We know it doesn't matter now. Reinforcements. I think they're a bit unnecessary this moment in time. I don't think you're perfectly be honest. So I'm sure they can push it down. Plan the bloody wars. Interesting formation to take. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Of course, I trust the musician to throw the one of the grapnels up. And the old dog pile on. Sure, you could not you know, build like ladders and stuff like that, which was a thing back in those days. Siege ladders. Oh, they're being shut up. I forgot about that. At least I'll still get this unit afterwards. Isn't, doesn't this look rather cool? Try and get a good shot. That's not too bad, does it? There we go. And all the enemy flees the field, I suppose. There we go. Compared to the last battle, that's mm, not great, but better. And look at the experience. You bastard. All that effort. All those troops and lost. That. Piece of shit. Mm, hello, look at all this I can recruit for an expedition somewhere else. 
but we'll sort that out for next time when we get around to it. Right. Start the replenishment process. There we go. Ooh, Hofborg. So early in the game that it built that, right. Trade games, general of infantry, cool. And general in gold grade, cool. Right. I'll start seeding these armies in important locations. So uh, doing the important stuff, please. Have that college researching down the philosophy section. We're going to be needing that soon. I would love to play Venice, but alas, I cannot. Uh, I mean, it's not a big increase, but then again, the buildings are damaged. So, well, so when they are eventually repaired. They will have an immense impact on the economy. So, Austria is no more. So, in turn, this will be the last in turn of this episode. Sort some stuff out and then. Leave it at that. Oh, hello. Sure. I don't see any problem with that. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, boy. Right. So, the kingdom is rather, looking rather pleasant at the moment, which is rather healthy size, and next turn I expect to see that probably touch somewhere around 10,000, we shall see. I mean it's had a massive increase already. I can trick him back, trick him there, and hopefully he Bring some good things. He looks a bit old to be 30, I'll be honest, but nay well. Right, been so far now. Yeah, yes. I've got a new port, so why not use it? Yep, as long as you give me the money, that's fine. Uh, Sovereign, but it's a republic. There's no sovereign in a republic. Mm, no. I'll demand payment of. Actually, no. I'd probably give them a smaller amount in return instead. There we go. Anyone else I can trade with? Nope. There we go. That's much better. Right. Right, right, right. Leave them be for now. Hey, oh, you've travelled far, my friend. Uh, yeah, don't forget about the farms. So I've got some more farms to recoup. Once this, o this is over, I might as well see them down unless they decide to bloody attack again. Right, in that case then, we shall leave this at that and uh, well, we've made some relatively good progress. Apart from the thieving bastards, but we've actually made some fairly good pro progress, had some fairly successful battles, not bad considering how far, uh, how long it's been since my last. Uh, production. Oh, I forgot about all this extra bit of stuff over here. Lovely. So
Till then, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you will enjoy the next lots of better videos and stay safe. And I shall see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.